There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, loves? What's up, divas? It's your girl, April. So you guys already know what time it is. Let's jump into this hair tutorial. If you guys are not familiar with DivaWigs.com, they're really affordable, full lace, glueless, 360 lace front wig site around. They have been around for some time, and I have done quite a few videos with them. This one is their customized um, glueless full lace wig. So this one I had custom made for me because I like a lot of hair. So I do have the 180% density pre-plucked virgin Brazilian loose curl and it was hanging up upside down on a hanger but I decided to take that out. Once you put it upside down, once it's washed, so I did wash this, um, you get all the curls and waves that you can only imagine. So if you want all of those waves and curls in your unit after you've washed and conditioned and rinsed it, just take yourself a nice hanger and go ahead and hang it upside down and watch all the curls will form. So I did cut the lace off and it does have the three combs in the front and there is a comb and an adjustable strap in the nape area. I put this strap as tight as could be so I don't know if it's going to get any tighter than this. I think I might have put it a little bit too tight okay because now the comb in the back is like girl you can't breathe. Um, I didn't sew any elastic band on it this time, unfortunately. I just was running out of time, and I just decided not to. So, like I said, it's a glueless full lace, so you can part this anywhere you want in the unit. So, if you want to do two cornrows or cornrows throughout it, you can do that with this one because it is partable throughout the entire unit. If you want to put this up in a high-low bun, ponytail, you can also do so. So, it is pre-plucked, which is great, and it does have those little ear tap things right here, which is the metal ones that kind of like hold it down. So, what I did notice when I tried it on, it's a little bit um, bigger on me so these end up going behind my ear tabs because my hair is thinner than most so I probably do need like a small um, cap versus average but you know it is what it is I just maneuver around it I would rather it be a little bit too big than too tight on my head and like I said I just wash it and condition it so for me throwing it around and such and such it probably needs a little bit of styling so we're gonna do so I do have all of my tools on hand and I already got my baby hair slipped down because I really don't plan to um, glue this down I really don't feel like doing all that I don't really like to gel the hairs of the unit down like the baby hairs of the unit because I just don't like to do do that um it just kind of like takes away from the unit to me and it's a little bit more work you have to cut it and do such and such so for me this is the easiest opposed to me having to do anything extra so yes let's get into this Do. Switch me on and turn me off, you know. 
So I hope you guys can see the back. It's very long and it's very full. So it's like a lot of hair. I noticed that there's a lot of hair right here. It's very dense right here. And when I washed it and I parted it to make my part, I did notice that some of the hairs, a lot of the hairs in the actual um, frontal or lace was kind of close, tweeds close. They're, the knots are bleached, but some of them are the hairs. Some of the hairs are really, really close. So I did have to tweeze some of the part because it was very, very dense right here. Um, but that's fine because I do like a lot of hair. So it gives me more volume, especially when I lay it upside down to dry. But it's a lot of hair. Like, it's not overwhelming a lot. It's like, girl, go ahead with your bath up. This is cute, honey. Mm. But I do like this one a lot. I Listen. Listen, Linda, listen. Y'all already know how I feel about curly hair and loose wave hair and, you know what I'm saying, wavy hair. I love it all because this is the type of hair where you don't even have to do anything. Y'all already know how I feel about doing too much. A girl get a little bit lazy and be like, listen, I have done enough. I have washed. I have styled. I have designed. I have had it. I really don't feel like curling. So, for me, I like something that's really easy maintenance. And if I could wash it and it curls up and I can wear it then I'm good with that but if I have to wash and get a hot curl out then sometimes I catch a serious attitude so I do love me a nice loose curl loose wave deep wave body wave curly curl kinky curl it's all good I've never heard anything bad about their lace wigs, so definitely check them out. I will post all of the info for this one below. Like I said, it's 180% density. It is customized, meaning I had the 180 put in it. It's a glueless, full lace, pre-plucked wig. So you can part it anywhere. 22 inches, hunty. 22. And yes, loving it. So let me, let me know what you guys think of this one. All of the information will be posted below. And for those of you who have went and seen the Wonder Woman movie let me know what you think because I'm like her number one fan and as well as that make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up because you love me so much and I will see you all in a soon to come video um stay diva and divalicious I love you guys and I'll see you soon